Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. In this video we are going to talk about on Smart View Monitor gateway feature. Uh, if you suspect that the firewall's overall CPU uses is getting uh, uh, getting high uh, during the period of uh, intermittent slow performance or you can see suspicious looking CPU utilization spikes in the firewall history reports of uh, your uh, firewall report or a smart human report. So it is a critical to catch the firewall in the act so you can run tools like a smart, uh, I mean the CP view on a top to determine what precisely is happening during the uh, whatever the incidents occur. In a smart view monitor GUI, you have a various features which will help you to, you know, uh, settle down the things before that is happening. I mean, you can, you know, uh, have the alerts for those things, have the mails for those things, you know, and within a time, uh, you can, you know, uh, rectify the things. So let's go back. I mean, let's go to the uh, smart monitor and from there, let's see uh, how this thing works. So, guys, if you don't know where the new uh, a uh, smart view monitor options comes in R81.10 Gaia. So basically, you have to come to the uh, logs and monitoring. And here at the bottom, if you see tunnel and user management, you have to click that. You need to click that, and then you will come to this smart view monitor feature. In a smart view monitor, when you come to this uh, left side, there's a something called gateway status. And you have, uh, you know, the very first option, all gateways. We're going to talk about that. So when you click to that option, you will see this uh, gateway list here present. So uh, when you want to work with uh, any of this gateway, what you need to do, you just have to click to that gateway and click uh, right click to it. Then the option circles. So the specific option I wanted to show here is configure thresholds. When you click to the configure thresholds and then you go to the global properties or settings, you will see the options here, how you can configure your firewall or gate with thresholds. So very first option you will see there's a CPU uses. Uh, it's more than, for example, you say the CPU, if it's more than 70%, uh, you should get an email or alert. It's up to you. So you will set like that. Again, if you want to check uh, if your Phoenix space this goes more than say, I mean, uh, less than say 10% or 20%, uh, you should get an alert or an email for that. Okay, my this space is you know uh, is have a low. I mean, my firewall has a low this space. Then there's something called status connections. You can monitor that. There, then you can monitor your policy, firewall policy, if it's installed, not installed, uh, if the firewall policy gets installed or not installed, you will, I mean, here's the only option not installed. If it's not installed, you will get an alert on email, okay, uh, due to one of the other reasons the policy is not getting installed. So you can, you know, uh, look into that. So uh, here are my main option which I wanted to show you. Those are like policy install time and policy uh, name. So you know, consider the scenario where a colleague of your who makes some big security policy change, he installed the policy to the firewall and then uh, he just left for the lunch and forgot their cell phone on desk. And somehow you are getting a call from the help desk uh, that 10 minutes later after he installed the policy and, and the call is concerning about various issues that are occurring, you know. So wouldn't it, it is better or nice to receive an email right before that or letting you know that something is in the firewall policy was got changed recently. So for that, you can utilize these options. For example, firewall policy install time change, firewall policy name change, something like that happens, it should you, I mean, it, 
uh, you should alert it or you should get an email for that. So you know that, okay, the policy got changed by the colleague. And after that, this issue is getting started. Likewise, you have many other options like synchronization state. For example, your cluster state is not synchronizing that time. If you receive an email that, okay, right now my cluster state is not synchronized. There may be some issues, right? For the security management server here. So it's, it's benefiting for you, right? So there's something called QS policies. If you are configured the QS things and you know, uh, something is not happening well, you can alert those things. So this is how you can use this global uh, threshold feature settings to manage your gateway well, you know, the, your admin work well. Let me click OK. So that you have a lot of options here, just right click to this. It will give you the number one option like details on your gateway, what is configured, what versions are there, which kind of version is running, you know, and the policy status and VPN status and everything. Again, if you right click to it, if you go to the gateway license option, you will in a click, you will see, okay, this is the expiry date for your license and what are the blades and everything is activated. You do not have to go to the command line or smart update. Here itself, you will be able to see all those details. Then, if you want to monitor the VPN tunnels, you can monitor from here. Uh, monitor remote users, you can monitor from here. Then again, the important important part is like if you want to do the failover or you want to do some upgrade and you want to stop your uh, cluster member from here itself, you can stop or start it from here. For example, I'm just going ahead and just stopping this one of the cluster member to give you live demonstration. I just stopped uh, the gateway one and it will take some time to sync. Uh, if you do something called refresh, it will immediately show you that, okay, this gateway uh, is at a problematic state and now only one gateway is going on. And like that, you can see at the bottom as well, what error is with the gateway, right? If you want to do more things, you just go ahead and do the putty to your gateway and shape the status. For example, I'm just logging now to the, the, the current active one and I will just run the command for the clustering. Let me go to the expert mode. And if you see here, as I'm just going to run the command CPHA prop status. And you can see the gateway number one is at lost stage and the another gateway is at active stage. And the failover is occurred, right? So now I'm just going ahead and just making that member up. And once I do that, I just have to do the refresh to check the latest status on that. And same, you can do it from the CLI perspective. Just go there and run the same command. Now you can see the gateway is at the standby mode, right? The first one. And here also, if I do the refresh, it will again come to this stage, okay stage, right? And there is a one more option which is important, which is called properties. So right now you're all seeing these properties mm -hmm. here. So if you see there's a cluster Excel cluster started, something like that. If you don't want these options here, for example, these are the options. So this space, IP address, cluster Excel, cluster status and everything. If you don't want anything uh, from this option here, you just have to just come here and uh, say remove and click OK and that option will get removed from here. So guys, uh, this is uh, how you can, you know, utilize the simple feature from the uh, Smart View Monitor Blade. Uh, like I just explained the one, one, one feature. There are a lot of other features also, uh, which will I'm going to explain in upcoming videos. Uh, so I hope this uh, content uh, you found informative. And uh, if you like my video, uh, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. So whatever the latest the upload video will come to you as soon as I'll upload them. Uh, for this video, guys, that's it. Uh, if you have any queries, any uh, you know regarding the 
uh, check my firewall uh, you just have to just ping me the message or uh, 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 comment box and I will respond to you on that uh, for this video guys thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day